Click for IB Biology. We're taking a look at cell theory and the principles of deductive reasoning. There's a blank PDF of this presentation linked in down in the description, where you'll also find a link to 10 questions to test your understanding of this particular part of the course. And of course, there, there'll be some answers there for you to check. With cell theory, is an example in biology of deductive reasoning. Now in deductive reasoning, the theory itself represents the broad uh, principle uh, to be applied. And then we, we use that to give specific applications in specific biological instances. So this is a, a process which is uh, commonly used in biology and that you'll be practicing as you go through uh, other parts of the course. But let's take a look at the broad principles of cell theory. In the theory itself, uh, we begin with the statement that all living things are cellular. All living things are cellular. So there are no instances of a living thing having been found uh, which is not, in, in fact, composed of a cell or multiple cells. And indeed, those cells uh, are the, regarded as the smallest unit of independently functioning life. The organelles of which cells are composed, which we'll be studying in more detail later, they are incapable of supporting themselves. So the cell has, has the capacity to, to support itself as a functioning unit. If we find cells, either a population of uh, unicellular organisms or indeed the individual cells of an organ, then we know that they came by the process of cell division from other cells. You might call these the parental cells or the ancestral cells. That these cells that have been produced um, they have all shared a common method of relaying geti genetic information, which of course we, we now know to be of the nucleic acid, deoxyribonucleic acid. And gene expression, the common method of gene expression that we look at on this course, we will see in protein synthesis. So let's just make a, a, a very small example for illustration purposes that uh, if we take the major premise that all living things, uh, so do all, all living things are made of cells, so we start with this premise here, then we can then move to the minor premise, which is that humans are therefore composed of cells. And so having actually investigated humans and determined that indeed they are made of cells, this reinforces the cell theory which, uh, which we have. And so through the application of deductive reasoning, going from the large premise to the smaller premises, um, we, we're able to test the theory, uh, to apply it, to aid our understanding, and indeed, if necessary, to update our theory. Links are appearing to the next video in this series on cell structure. A links to the playlist and, of course, to the channel should you wish to subscribe.